For dessert, I'm making my tahini fudge pie, which has this really thick cookie crust, a fluffy filling, and then this layer of chewy fudge hiding in the middle. To get started, I'm gonna melt six tablespoons of unsalted butter. While this melts, I'll start blending my cookies. I've got 30 chocolate sandwich cookies. I'll also add a teaspoon of instant espresso powder, which just intensifies the chocolate flavor. I'll add a couple pinches of salt, and then I'll blend it to a fine crumb. All right, as this continues to blend, I'm gonna drizzle in the butter. Oh yeah, I've got a nine inch pie plate here. I like a thick pie. I'll just pour the crust right in. I'll spread it out evenly. I wanna make sure it goes all the way up the sides and pack it firmly. I just love the texture of a firmly packed crust. Okay, this crust looks great. I'll stick it in the oven at 350 degrees for six minutes. And while that bakes, I'll get started on my decadent fudge. I'm gonna melt a stick of butter, then add one cup of sugar and one cup of unsweetened cocoa powder a teaspoon of instant espresso powder to punch it up. I'll add a good pinch of salt to bring out all these flavors. And then half of a cup of heavy cream. We'll make it really rich and creamy. And stir to combine. Okay, this fudge is glossy and gorgeous. I'm gonna check if my pie crust is ready. Oh, it smells heavenly. I'm gonna add my layer of fudge now. I'll pour this right in but I'm gonna save some to swirl on at the end. Oh yeah. This is gonna be the best surprise in the bottom of the pie. I'll let this set in the fridge and then work on my final step, the creamiest step, my tahini filling. This is a one bowl, no bake filling that is good enough to eat by itself with a spoon. I'm gonna start with my tahini. I'll add one and a half cups Mm, it adds that delicious sesame flavor. I'll also add four ounces of softened cream cheese for that delicious tanginess. One and a half cups of powdered sugar, and then half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. A teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then a good pinch of kosher salt to bring out all these flavors. Okay. Now that this is combined, I'm gonna add one and a half cups of heavy cream. With my mixer on low, I'll drizzle this in and then I'll increase my mixer and let it come to medium peaks. I'm gonna grab my pie shell. It's cooled and the fudge is firm. It's gonna be so nice and chewy. I'll pour in my tahini filling. Oh yeah, baby. I'm gonna grab my reserved fudge now and then I'll drizzle this over the tahini filling. It's gonna be so pretty. I'm gonna do these luxurious marbly designs. You know what it needs? Flaky salt, just for a little sparkly on top. Yum! Talk about pie perfection. 